Hi boys and girls, it's me. Um, today is Wednesday, May 20th, and we're going to again start with prayer. St. Paul believed in Jesus completely. After his experience with the risen Christ and became a great Christian teacher and writer. This was a conversion experience. That is, it changed Paul and he acted differently. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The psalm is, the stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Meanwhile, Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to J Jerusalem. Now, as he was going long and approaching Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city and you will be told what you are to do. Saul got up from the ground and and though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. For three days he was without sight, and neither ate nor drank. The word of the Lord. Mommy. Think about this silently in your heart. Who or what has helped convert you? That is, helped you change to be a better person. Was it your older siblings? Was it your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, a cousin? Who has helped you be a better person? Think about that. Mommy. Let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others, our family, neighborhood, and the world. For these, for each need we say, Lord, hear our prayer. For those affected by the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, for the elderly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the needy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all those, for all the special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, think of them now. For these needs we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let's say a Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the conversion of Saul, O Lord Jesus, we see the power of your grace. Help us to remember that no one is beyond your care or your healing power. May St. Paul be an example for us of how to honor you, who live and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, said the sun. Good morning, said the sun. I'll be shining on you all day long. Good evening, said the moon. Good evening, said the moon. I'll be dreaming of you all night long. Wake up. Good morning, boys and girls. Well, this is Grady. We all know who Grady is. He snuck into my studio today. Do you want to tell them what they're going to do for their assignments? 
Yeah. All right. So for today for phonics, actually for reading, you're just going to take out the story on page 213, 213, and you're going to read games around the globe. So you're going to read it and you're going to look for the words with the long O sound and then circle the words with the long O sound. And then after you've read it once and circled all the words with the long O sound, I want you to read it two more times to um, stuffed animals, your parents, your brothers or sisters. Um, okay. And then in math, I want you to write your numbers one through 50. Can you see here? I get Allie. So just take a, pa uh, a piece of paper. I have my, or a whiteboard, whatever you have. And then you're going to write your numbers one through 50. So one, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to pretend like I wrote all the way to 50. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So you're going to write your numbers all the way to 50, not 20. I just did it shorter version because it'll take me a long time. So after you've re wrote all your numbers to 50, you're going to write, or you're going to circle um, your numbers by five. So all the fives, so the fives have a five or a zero at the end. Okay. So five, 10, 15, 20. 20. But you're going to do all the numbers to 50. Okay. And circle all the fives. Um, in, so in social studies, you're going to, um, take a field trip, a virtual field trip to a farm. And I included a link to a beautiful, wonderfully done um, video um, of kids going to a farm and seeing what goes on over there. So watch that video and have fun. Um, for religion, I'm also sending you some PowerPoint slides and they are slides of um, our parish, which is St. Linus, our Pope, who is St. Francis, or I mean, Pope Francis, and um, our pastor at our church, who is Father Adrian. So look at those slides, remember in your mind what they look like and who they are, what their names are, and then there's a really short, easy quiz um, at the end of the PowerPoint slides. Just type in um, the names and see if you've got them right, okay? You don't have to um, turn them into me. Just see if you can get them and name them um, without anyone telling you. Okay. And then for Wacky Wednesday, do a cuckoo kangaroo video from Go Noodle. And then you're going to find Ask out what our mommy. star of the Ask week, Maya, what her secret item is. I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to guess. All right. So have a great Wednesday. What do you want to say to everyone? Want to say bye? Say bye. Stay safe and be well, you guys. Bye.